from me many times. Um, so I'm going to skip the language evaluation and <laughs> tell you that I really sincerely enjoyed being here tonight and hearing so many interesting speeches and also the evaluation contest. Very interesting to see you speak extemporaneously. In particular, Wilson. Where did Wilson go? I liked your speech very much. I'm going I'm to single you out, and I'm just going to tell you that I liked your speech because you have what we call in English a self-deprecating sense of humor. It, it means that you can find humor by poking fun at yourself. And that, that's an, an excellent source. If, if you want to give a humorous speech, an excellent place to start is with your own foibles or idiosyncrasies or interesting things about yourself. You can, you can easily make the audience laugh, and you succeeded in doing that, so thank you. About the evaluation session, I, as I said, I thought the evaluation session was very good. If I could make one suggestion for most of the evaluators, it is try to do a little bit better on the organization part. I, I know that you're speaking extemporaneously and you're speaking in a non-native language extemporaneously, but as much as you can, Toastmasters, Toastmasters is an opportunity besides just learning communication skills. It can also help you to learn to be organized. And your evaluation will be more useful and easier for the person receiving it if you can sort of, it's not even necessary, you can number your points, you can say my first point is this, my second point is this, my third point is this, but whether you number or not, if you can have some points and then focus your speech around those points, it will be easier for the audience and easier for the person that's receiving feedback uh, to understand what you're trying to say. I think that's all that I'm going to share with you tonight. Again, thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to be a judge. It's always wonderful to be with you guys. <laughs> <laughs>